Hey, what's up guys, Melrain here, and today I'm going to talk about my Raspberry Pi chase that I made to help it cool off and just protect it a little bit. I'm not going to try to make this video too long, but I'll just show you guys what I did and some tests I run to see how well my cooling chase was doing, so let's get right into it. Alright, so I put a fan in there, and then I put a divider and some holes for the cords. And then I got some holes on the side for the exhaust there. And then I got an, um, an electrostatic bag on the bottom. Hopefully dissipate the stack electricity. So got some holes on the bottom for intake too. I don't know if you saw that. All right, so I have a thermal camera here and this is a video of the Raspberry Pi just starting up. No case or anything, so just sitting out in the open air. And I will fast forward to the end of the video so that you guys can see what the max temperature got to, so you don't have to wait around and watch this thing heat up. Alright, so it hit about 84 degrees on the processor there, so that's about as hot as it got when the case was open, so the pie was just basically sitting out in the open, so let's do some testing with it closed. Alright, so I'm opening the case here, and there you go. 106, 104-ish degrees when the case was just closed and the fan was not on. So that's obviously much hotter than what it was when it was open. Now let's see if we turn the fan on, how much we can cool this thing down by. So, apologize for the bad video here, but we are at about 91 degrees, so that's roughly 10 degrees cooler, which is quite a bit, but I'll, let's also look at the uh, internal temperatures and compare those. Alright, so I just made a temperature logger on the iOS Shortcuts app, so it just takes temperature every minute and then puts it onto a note. So as you can see here, it's pretty much all it does is just every minute it takes temperature. Obviously those lower temperatures when it was starting up and then got hotter and hotter. So if we look at the data here, this is without fan. The internal temperature meets a max of about 117 degrees and then with the fan powered by 12 volts the internal temperature got down to about 104 degrees so that 116 right there that's when I turned the fan on and immediately started to cool down and then I just got some more data here so I did some testing off camera here and here's some of the stats. So without a fan, internal temperature is about 116. The hottest surface temperature was 100. Then with just a wall USB and the, the fan plugged into a wall USB, you got about 107 degrees internal and 86 the hottest surface temperature. Then with a 12 volt, the internal temperature was 102 and the hottest surface temperature is 91. Now at first that didn't make sense to me because why would the surface temperature be hotter than the one with the wall USB, but if you think about it, more heat from the core is being pulled, sucked out, I guess you could say. So it makes the outside hotter, but it cools down the internal more, which is ultimately what we want. So if you looked at that data, we brought the external temperature down about 10 degrees and the internal almost 15. Now the Raspberry Pi was on like no load, basically there wasn't really anything running on it, but either way, it still cooled it down quite a bit. So I was quite happy with how it ended up. It So the case both protects my Pi from dust and debris and just things in general. And it also cools it down a little bit, which is what I wanted. So it was good. And thanks for watching, guys. And I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please like and subscribe.